Welcome to Azure Code Lab. In this video, we will see how to use if and else statements in store procedures. So let's get started. The purpose of if and else statements is to execute a single line or a block of code based upon a condition. If the condition satisfies, then the code executes, or else another block of code would be executed. Let's see an example. First, declare a variable, a character type variable. Now assign any value to it, as it is color I will assign color name to it, let it be red. If the color is red, then I will print a message about the color confirmation. So here, color equal to red is our condition, if and only this is true then only next statement would be evaluated. If the condition is not true then evaluate the other statement. When I execute this, it prints color is red, as the condition is satisfied. What if I change the color to blue? If I execute this now. I am getting color is not red, as the condition is not satisfied, so the statement after else is executed. So that's it this is how the if and else statements are used. If we want a certain block of code to execute, when a condition satisfies or else execute another block of code, when the condition is not satisfied. Let's see another example. First I will declare a variable, it would be an integer. I will assign a value to this variable. You can assign any value, but it should be an integer. If count is greater than 1 then execute the next statement. So this would be our condition here. I'm gonna execute a query here. So I will put it in a begin and end block. This is a simple query, it will fetch all records from person table. Else print a message here, if condition is true then query executes, or else this message would be printed. Let's execute this. It prints all records from the person table. Let me change this query a bit. Now it will print only one record. Let's see an example using store procedure. I will use the store procedure that I used in the last video. I will make a few changes here. I will put a condition here, so that if the condition is true then only this block would be executed. Row count is a system variable. This variable returns the number of rows affected by the last executed statement in the batch. Let me put this in a begin and end block. Using row count I will check here, whether the previous query is returning any value or not. If the query returns any value then row count should be greater than zero. Let me arrange this a bit. So this block executes, only if the condition satisfies. For the else block, I will just pass a message, not found. So if no sales order ID is found for the, the first name and last name, then row count would be zero, and not found message would be shown. That's it, I have made some changes, so I have to run this again. Now to test this, I need the execute statement. I will just copy it from the last script. Let me copy this procedure name. Everything is set, let's execute this. So it displays the card details as expected. Let's try with other names. Let me search it in person table. Let's try with these two names. For Dylan Miller there is some sales order ID. Let's try with the other person as well. For Rob Walters no record found, that means there is no sales order ID. So that's it this is how, if else is used in stored procedures. We will see more about, if else in the upcoming videos. We will see nested, if in upcoming videos. I think you have got some basic idea, how to use if else. For now just remember, the, if else statement is a control flow statement that allows you to execute or skip a statement block based on a specified condition. If the boolean expression evaluates to true, then the statement block in the begin, and end block is executed. Otherwise, the statement block is skipped, and the control of the program is passed to the statement after the end keyword. If these videos are helpful then don't forget to like and subscribe.